when meme coins are pumping but you are all in on altcoins with utility <laughs> when i see the guy who told me to stay away from meme coins and focus on utility Right there, Coinbase application is trending fast to be the top one on Apple App Store. Yet, your altcoins are still not moving. All you see is DJs around making money, putting their funds into meme coins of Borden, and Trump, and Welsh, and Rido, and other things like that, and making crazy amount of funds. Access and multipliers that you never saw in your fundamental projects that are supported by venture capitalists. A bunch of vaporware. I know that you are scared, but imagine how scared the VCs are. They invested billions of dollars into fundamental projects and retail does not seem to care. Everyone is just buying meme coins and not buying their crap that they're trying to push as fundamental projects with proper teams. How many salty people we see on the marketplace currently? Everyone is screaming that this is the end. We should be seeing the correction just because of the fact people are buying meme coins. People are not dumb. They understand that meme coins are the only honest thing in this space. VCs are thinking, should I be selling my fundamental junk and buying into meme coins? Should I stop paying influencers to scream about DPing as the top narrative of this cycle? I can't believe everything understands that all the projects that I invested to are just vaporware. Influencers start to provide you with Pepperverse coins with its better place. Safe leverage positions. I gave you them on this channel three months ago we are making money here we are not fucking around a bunch of people already took profits on the meme coins repositioning into fundamental stuff following influencers and venture capitalists imagine they will finally capitulate every single person is wrong on the meme coins in this video, we will go through popular meme coins on the market currently. I will provide you with the price predictions and what are happening with these meme coins as well. I will also share a pure guide on how to pick 100x meme coins. Because I believe I already have a few of them. Ultimate step-by-step -step strategy that you would be able to implement yourself. Meme coins are not going anywhere. Institutions are trading meme coins. 30% of meme coin volumes is coming from institutions at this stage. 30% of volume on meme coins now is institutionals. This is huge. This is the best winning narrative of this cycle. Not AI, not gaming, not BRC20s, not ordinals, meme coins. But let me actually tell you why I'm qualified to speak on the topic. Right? Here is my Pepe loan, plus $270,000 despite the fact I took out $40,000 as profit already. And it's very, very interesting because this is chart of Pepe, right? And what you have to understand, what you have to ask yourself, where I actually publicly called this loan on my channel. Can you actually tell? Maybe, maybe I called it here, right? Or maybe I actually called my loan somewhere here, right? Or maybe it actually happened somewhere here. Maybe I called my loan publicly on this channel for everyone to see and the whole market view as well. Maybe I called it somewhere here. No, I called my loan right here. Several hours before the pump. Exactly. We will just search. We will just run like crazy. I do think right now is actually a very nice time to loan Pepe. Enter a conservative loan, close it in a year from now and say, thank you, Stan. You made me so much freaking money. This is Boba Chart, a Pepeverse meme token as well, that basically have done 60 access from the lows, six zero. 
where I actually told you to buy into this token on this channel. Maybe somewhere here. Maybe I actually told you to buy into Boba somewhere here. Maybe I actually told you to buy Boba right at these stages. So you should be around zero currently, right? No, I told you to buy Boba here. So Boba is an obvious pick after Pepe. And this is basically something that will definitely happen once Pepe pumps. Currently my play is Bobo. I think that's uh, pretty stable. If not even like 100x, maybe like 25 at least. That's a very, very nice play at this stage. And it's a very stable meme coin. That's going to be huge. I'm sure on this. And that's, I think this would be the highest performing coin token of my portfolio basically. And I was telling you at least five times in five different videos, I basically told you to buy Bobo somewhere here, exactly where I was buying as well. There is other Pepeverse meme token called Snibu, which I got 70 access on 70. I also have done 7x on Rido and the highs, and I also have done 7x on Welsh, which is the largest meme token on Stacks ecosystem. So I believe I'm quite qualified to talk on the topic because I actually caught this first wave of meme tokens. It did not happen currently. It did not happen two weeks ago, three weeks ago. It happened in the summer. I basically was in the market when it was happening closer to the end of that meme coin wave. That's why I was able to get into the project that I got in and that's why I actually had conviction to hold. Let's actually listen to what Kyle Chessy, VC, has to say on the meme coins and valuation of Pepe and Whiff during this cycle, right? Because meme coins, you know, something not interesting, not serious. Serious guys, they don't invest into them, right? Pepe and Whiff are going to flip SHIB and they're both going to surpass a hundred billion dollar market cap. That's my thesis. Very, very exciting. Why someone who have been in Bitcoin from 2012 or 2013 is actually saying that Pepe and Weave will be more than 100 billion market cap. That's 25 access for Pepe. And even at these levels, you can easily just put a million bucks into Pepe. I don't think it's actually going to be a bad decision. There is enough liquidity. There is at least $50 million in Pepe already. You can just easily, easily be putting a million bucks in Pepe at these levels. Maybe just Kyle. Let's listen to other guys as well, all right? Here is what Virtual Bacon is saying. Seeing meme coins pump isn't a sign of an overheated market. It's a sign for the return of the retail crowd. Dodge and Pepe are just the beginning. It's like the market's muscle memory kicking in signaling a whole new face. We are on the brink of something big. Stay tuned and ready. It's very, very interesting. This weekend feels like calm before the storm. It basically feels like a final rest before something is going to happen on the marketplace. And I do understand at this stage that meme coins are going to be the most performing narrative of this cycle. I am positioned well myself already. And I'm actually saying thank you for myself to have conviction for the things that I actually had done. The only thing I have to do is hold. At the same time, it would be quite interesting to participate into the game of meme coins moving forward. Share some alpha with you on how I actually was able to get 100 access on the meme coins, how I actually found 100x meme coins, how you can actually be doing that by yourself moving forward. And I will also provide you with the ranking and price projections of the current meme coins that are popular on the marketplace as well. But before we start, I actually wanted to remind that I opened my Discord, I opened my private VIP channel. There are three ways to join private VIP channel. The first one is to be my referral on BitGet Exchange, deposit at least $100 and have KYC completed. Then you basically just need to fill out Google form on Discord and you will be added into the VIP channel. Second one is if you already have a current BitGet account, you just go into Discord and you click I already have a current BitGet account and you will be provided with the guide on what to do and how to join Discord anyway, VIP channel. 
And the third one is pay $49 a month on my Patreon link that you can find in the description as well. Once you will subscribe, you need to connect your Discord account into Patreon and you will be automatically added into VIP Discord as well. I also wanted to note that I do give away $300 on a daily basis in each video to people that I'm meeting next criteria. You need to be my referral on BitGate Exchange, you need to deposit at least 100 bucks, and you need to complete KYC. If you have all of these conditions met, I'm giving away 300 bucks on a daily basis randomly to three of you. I also have to remind that tomorrow is the final day for the snapshot for an airdrop from the channel Stan Crypto. So feel free to participate. The conditions are exactly the same as well. And I posted this on my Twitter as well. I'm actually giving $100 each to five people that will repost this post and will get the largest amount of views as well. Please, if you repost this post, feel free to share USDT, BC, Binance Smart Chain wallet in the comments below of this Twitter post. It's a pin post on my Twitter. Let's actually forge some millionaires for this cycle. How to pick a 100x meme coin? First things first, chain should have liquidity. You know, there are some people saying that Pepe won't be surging up because Pepe is on Ethereum and the commissions for the transactions, they're just going to be crazy. And this argument does not make sense, 100%. It does not make sense in the first place. The whole reason for that is Pepe is already on the most centralized exchanges. Pepe is already on the applications like Revolut, like Robinhood as well. It's very, very accessible and most people, retail people, they would be buying Pepe on centralized exchanges. And the fact that Pepe is actually on Ethereum is quite bullish because largest amount of liquidity is still on Ethereum at this stage and no one is going to move the large amount of liquidity onto things like Solana. Because the chain is quite centralized, it was breaking up several times. The store of liquidity, DeFi liquidity is definitely on Ethereum currently. And people that would want to put 2 million, 5 million, 7 million dollars into meme coin on Ethereum like Pepe, they would definitely be doing it on chain as well. But it's very, very important to understand that when the token launches initially, it needs liquidity from the chain. If you'd be launching meme coin on some things like Cardano, there is no liquidity on the chain you won't be able to push to pump your meme coin into the masses as well because no one would most likely be interested in these things. That's why you should be picking a chain with a lot of liquidity. We have Ethereum with the main issue of Ethereum, the fact that transactions they cost a lot, but at the same time liquidity on Ethereum is larger and as and in general, meme coins on Ethereum, they have more liquidity in the first place, which definitely more healthier for the meme coin as well. Because if you would be taking a large chunk of profits of the meme coin, you won't be dumping the price to zero. And obviously we have things like Solana, which is quite cheap, quite fast as well. But in terms of meme, and we see a lot of meme coins, they're just surging up like crazy. Personally, I don't like it much because of the fact it's so, so easy to sell there as well. So people, they're just jitting to zero if they see small price movement. But we definitely have things like Bonk and Weave that originated on Solana. Solana might be a great choice as well, just because of the fact the chain is going up, the value is going up, there is a bunch of liquidity on the chain currently as well. Therefore, it's a great environment for meme coins as well. We do also have things like Base, like Blast, we have Sui Chain as well with some meme coins on there too. But I would say main players currently are Ethereum and Solana and maybe Avax from time to time as well. So the first criteria to be able to pick a 100x meme coin is actually to make sure that you are picking meme coin on the chain that actually have liquidity. Ethereum layer 2s might be nice as well, but they're definitely less interesting than Ethereum itself. Secondly, we're moving into meme coin should not have utility. This is something I see a lot and this is something I honestly don't like about Dogecoin and SHIB and when I'm talking about these tokens, someone is always sending me comments like SHIB is its own ecosystem with a bunch of things being developed. I, I, don't, I don't need things to be developed, like I'm buying a picture of the dog and I want to make money from it and I'm basically making a financial decision to buy a picture of the dog. 
Like what type of utility? Utility is not something that should happen in meme coins because people understand that the whole space is vaporware. People understand that there are no legit projects in this space. People understand that everything goes to zero in the bear market. There are no legit things happen. No one is using crypto outside of crypto. And the only thing the crypto has been used just to trade stuff. The only viable business model on crypto to this day is exchange. Nothing else. I don't want to see any utility in my meme coin. If your utility has a meme coin or if developers of the meme coin, they want to add some utility, things like that, run away from this meme coin. Developers, they don't understand the culture. They don't understand what is happening with meme coin space as well. Therefore, they will probably rag the project or they will probably not do something great with the project as well because they just don't have experience in this space. Meme coin should definitely provide value at the same time. And I will tell you about it a bit later as well. Point number three, meme coin is following current meme meta, docs, politics, Pepe, and its meme verses. We need to understand what type of meta in meme coins there is currently. We definitely have doc meme coin meta, which is kind of from previous cycle as well. And it's going to be very, very interesting to see if this meta will actually be dying out in the process of this cycle becoming larger, larger and larger. We do also have meta of politics. We have Mago Trump, we have Mog, we have Boden, right? Which is quite funny meme by itself. And the main thing is because they're connected to the world events. And in general, if there are some large world events, there would often be meme coins about these events as well. We have elections in the US, which is most likely one of the largest events this year as well. And we will definitely see this meme coin surging, but I will tell you some more information about them a bit later in the video as well. We do also have Pepe as one of the largest memes. This is probably going to be the largest new meme of this cycle as well. The main reason for Pepe is because it's very, very recognizable. It's a very, very well-known meme in internet culture. A lot of people, they actually do know Pepe. They like Pepe. They're using Pepe. It's the most used meme in crypto Twitter and in general in gaming, in discords, in different forums and things like that. So that's something that people are definitely going to use. That's why we actually have several meme verses around Pepe as well. The first one, I would say the older one is connected with Wojak and memes around Pepe and Wojak and other things like that. Then we do have memes around Pepe meme verse from 4chan, like Bobo, like Mumu, like Snibu, like Dodo as well. And these memes, they're actually also connected to Wall Street as well, because people on Wall Street, they're actually using these memes from time to time as well, because Bobo stands for the bear market when stocks are going down. Mumu stands for the bull market when stocks are going up. And Snibu stands for sideways when things are going sideways. These are actually very, very interesting things with a lot of financial background with them. Because the phrase crab market, because the crab basically goes sideways, it's something from 1980s and maybe even earlier than that. And last but not least, memeverse around Pepe that we kind of see currently that just starts to flourish. These are original Pepe characters from the artist that created Pepe. We have Andy, we have Landwolf Wolf, we have Brad on base chain as well. They're essentially original characters around Pepe and they start to be created on different chains. There should be and there will be a lot of scams around these tokens as well. There are different matters as well, like Pepe 2, Pepe 3, Baby Pepe, Baby Bonk and things like that. These are all the matters that were actually quite popular this summer as well. We also have things like Fuck Pepe and things like that. So there are in general a lot, a lot of matters as well. But three matters that are actually shared in the first place should be the best performing ones this cycle as well, which are Docs. Pepe and its bit place and politics as well. And all the other matters, they can be applied to all these three matters. You have Trump MAGA, you can have baby Trump and all the other things like that. Baby matter is actually quite alive on Binance Smart Chain, which is very, very interesting by itself. Next tip, tip number four, meme should give value. Be a good meme, cause people to laugh, alpha tip. It's very, very important actually, because I remember I saw Doc with hat, 
I think around 40, 50 million market cap because I'm subscribed to a bunch of meme guys on Twitter actually. That's how I got into Bobo and other memes in the first place as well. And one of them was saying that I was just showing memes to my wife. And she was saying like, how stupid is this? Why are people um, sending money into these pictures? It does not make sense. And then he showed a picture of dog with head. And she just started laughing like crazy. This is your alpha tip. This is something that should be happening. A meme should be funny. It should be relatable. Dog with head is relatable to the largest amount of people. Even Boden. I find Boden very, very funny. It's way more funny than dog we've had. But you have to think about normies. You have to think about default people. Maybe some of them like Boden. Maybe they don't want to make fun of Boden, right? But dog we've had is something cute. A lot of people like dogs. It's very, very understandable. It's easy to grasp as well. So I would say that from point of view of public actually understanding the meme, dog we've had provides way more value than Boden. I think Boden is just, <laughs> I don't know, it's so funny. It's very funny, actually. A meme should provide value. Value that meme can provide is making people laugh. So meme should be a good meme in the first place. Things like Boba, for example. There are a bunch of memes with Boba. You can open up Boba page and you would often find yourself laughing from the things that you can see on the page. In terms of Boba and different reactions, different stations. Same thing with Snibber as well, because I'm actually following Snibber page and sometimes I just go on the Snibber page and I am just laughing. Let me actually show you the example. Have you already seen my morning wood? Green candle. And Snibu basically printed a green candle this morning because Pepper searched and Bobo searched and Snibu searched as well. It's very, very funny. This type of meme with this type of belly and things like that. And original meme is Happy Friday Bros. It's very, very funny. I was basically laughing from this meme today. This is the type of value that meme should be providing, especially the crap, because people like to have some beer with some crab, with some lobster and things like that, right? There are different types of memes for different types of people. I do understand that dog we've had probably not the most funniest thing if you are on the internet from 2005. If you saw like darkest, darkest things on the internet, probably your sense of humor is quite changed, especially if you have a long history of playing multiplayer online games, right? You probably saw some things, you heard some things as well. But for general people, for retail, for 30 year old women that are on Instagram and they're living in this pink world and things like that, it's quite funny. And this picture of Snibu with beer probably won't be so relatable to them. But it's quite funny to me. And I do understand that it's quite funny to a lot of you as well. Meme should be providing value. The best thing is just to show the meme to your wife. Women have different sense of humor, probably closer to retail, right? So it would be easier to see, based on the reaction, how retail would like or not like the meme in the first place. This is one of your criteria to actually understand if it's a good meme or not. Moving forward, uh, tip number five. Ideally, meme coin lived through wave one and now is on the deep correction. Ideally, meme coin lived through wave one and now is on the deep correction with live community, check out the socials, AMAs are ideals. I actually have a story to tell here. A friend of mine put $6,000 in one meme. Then he joined the AMA, I am a session of the meme, right? And he basically spent like 30 minutes there. He didn't like the community, he didn't like how people were communicating, the jokes and things like that. So he sold his $6,000 worth of meme and he put them into Bob. He joined AMA of Bob. He saw that people are cheerful, that the community is crazy. That is basically a cult that everyone was laughing. It was very, very funny on the AMA as well. And Bob did Forex at least since that levels. Memes are cults. It's very, very important. What type of community the meme actually have. Community is the number one differentiator on what will actually be happening with the meme as well. Speaking on these tips specifically, meme coin lived through wave one and now is on the deep correction. 
This is something that I actually used to buy boba as well because I was here in the summer. I was able to do some access on boba when I was buying it somewhere here at the bottom and I was able to do several access when it basically reached 30 million dollars. And I saw Bobo going down to like 2 million, 1 million right after that as well. This would basically help me to buy as well. The main thing to understand here is that if developers did not rag on 30 million market cap in the bear market, in the bear market when nothing was basically growing, what is the reason for them to rag moving forward? They are still, they are at least planning to grow this cash cow. It's very, very great to actually see wave first of the meme, wait for the correction and then be buying on the correction. Because if meme had wave one and it's a proper blue chip meme, developer didn't rack, it actually adds value and it meets all the other criteria from this list. It's so great to basically be buying these things on the correction. Something similar is happening with Landwolf currently. Landwolf is actually a character from Pepe Verse. It's, it's one of the characters of the original artist of Pepe. That's why it's definitely in the meta for this cycle currently. It's also a meme of this cycle. I do think it's going to do very, very well. The only issue I have with Wolf is that it's on Avex. And Avex is the chain with not largest amount of liquidity, right? So it was surging back in December, it went up and then it was going sideways for so much time. It basically went as low as 2 million market cap. And they actually know people that were buying each dip at 2 million market cap. Imagine what is the bank that they're making currently. They are already at 9x and AVAX didn't even search itself. Imagine what will be happening with this meme once AVAX will be surging to 3x from these levels and how many axes these people would actually make. So from the lows of 2 million, they already had done 9x. I was talking about this meme in my Discord at around 7 to 8 million market cap. So you're already up 2x if you actually acted there. And I believe I was actually talking about it in one of the videos at 4 to 5 million market cap. Unfortunately, I faded. Unfortunately, I did not buy myself. But this could have been a very very good buy and I do have this meme has a lot of room to grow as well because it is in the meta it didn't rock when it went to two million dollars the only issue as mentioned is the chain that I have but I do think Avax should be seeing some more liquidity this cycle as well with gaming surging up with influencers talking about um, with influencers talking about gaming as well with Solana liquidity moving into Avax this thing should be doing very, very nice. Let's actually check out what is happening with AVEX. So it basically just going sideways. It didn't grow, right? From like 36 bucks to 43, that, that's nothing. And Meme already did 9x in anticipation. Imagine what if AVEX would be doing 2x? What will happen to Land Wolf? And this is why I like memes in the first place, because they're ultimate leverage position and they're quite safe. A leverage position if you are buying memes close to the bottom if you were buying land wolf at 2 million market cap man you're just making bank congrats so i hope you understand the point if you were following some memes that did numbers already they went down heavily and a bunch of memes they're going down heavily after initial pump and they didn't track and the team is still active and the team is still posting meme and the community is still active as well it might be a very, very bullish signal to actually get into these memes. That's the best thing that I like to do because I don't like to buy new stuff that can rock and things like that. And all the meme coins on Solana that we see currently surging like Miro, like Weave, they also were on the great correction, large correction. And you definitely had the option to buy these memes on this large correction as well. And we should most likely be seeing another correction as well. And if, and if we will be seeing that, I might be getting into these memes myself as well. I would definitely like to get into Landwolf. I might be looking into Brayton Base and some Solana memes because I'm definitely underexposed to Solana memes at this stage. Moving forward, tip number six. Ideally, they're a catalyst for meme coin main chain. Avex example, Sol example. 
So if you're following this channel, you probably saw interview with market maker of Bonk, the guys that basically got Bonk to 1.6 billion market cap and started the whole Solana meme coins wave. And Alex was saying that one of the great reasons of why they were able to get Bonk to 1.6 billion market cap is the fact that there were a bunch of liquidity on Solana at this stage. Solana was providing airdrops. Therefore, there was additional liquidity into the ecosystem coming from the chain and from airdrops and from different projects. And a lot of people were putting this liquidity into the meme coins. You need to understand this type of events and you need to understand that if the main ecosystem token would be pumping and if it has certain catalysts, then meme coins in the ecosystem would be pumping as well. Example with Avax, example with Landwolf. Avox is EVM based chain, so we do expect for EVM based chain to do well. So we do expect for EVM based chain to do well once Ethereum will be surging even higher because guys because guys that would be making money on Ethereum, they would most likely be rotating into Avax as well. It's also a gaming chain, so we do expect that when gaming would essentially surge up, Avax would be surging up as well. And at the same time, back in November and December, liquidity from Solana actually went to AVEX. So we do expect these catalysts to happen on AVEX. One of the examples is also not coin airdrop on Ton chain. A bunch of people will get a bunch of money on Ton and some of this money, they will actually stay on the Ton blockchain as well. We have meme coin reader there that I've done five X's on already and I'm waiting. I'm waiting for this Notcoin airdrop so they can pump my bags even more and buy my reader tokens. I was not taking any initials out because I do believe it's actually a blue chip on the chain and I do believe that Ton would most likely be doing very, very well because they have a working product and they have largest user base between all of the crypto products pretty much. 1 billion plus users, that's just crazy. Moving forward, tip number seven, on-chain looks good. So this is something that you would be able to check on Ethereum in the first place on things like Arkham. And essentially there are similar scanners for AVEX and there should be something on Solana as well. The main thing that we would like to understand is that distribution of the token of the meme coin is proper, is great. That means that there should not be a situation where two wallets are holding 90% of the supply. Anyway, they can just divide the supply into different wallets and it will still look great on chain. But there are tools to actually see connections between different wallets as well. And as mentioned with one of the examples with Boba that was showing a couple of weeks ago, on chain you can actually check out what whales are doing with the token. And with Boba I actually saw that one of the whales was buying more even on the pumps which is definitely very, very healthy. Like if you see whales buying more meme coins on the pumps, that's definitely a bullish, bullish scenario. But you would probably would want to check a lot of them to make sure that this type of behavior is actually exercised by a lot of whales, not just by one. Moving forward, tip number eight, devs are not ruggers, did not rug previously. On Ethereum, for example, you can check out the smart contract, you can check out the deployer, you can check out what smart contracts the developer was deploying before and you could check out what actually happened with the tokens. If the tokens went to zero, if liquidity was taken away, that's definitely a bad sign for the project and you won't want to put your money into a rug pool as well. Great thing with memes is always to make sure that you are using bots and you're using different things to actually check out the validity of the contract. If you can actually sell and Good things in terms of memes is actually buy a small chunk and try to sell a small chunk right away because smart contracts that actually does not allow you to sell once you buy are unfortunately a very often things with memes as well. So you have to be careful. That's why in my case, I love to buy memes during wave two when they are correcting after wave one because at that stage, I'm way more confident on the things that will be happening with this meme in the future. Moving forward, we have final alpha. Number one alpha that you can only have. Hold meme coins. 100x plus gains. This is actually why I'm saying that I've got a bunch of meme coins that will probably be doing 100x 
for me as well. And it's very, very counterintuitive because a lot of because a lot of the influencers they're telling you don't hold them, sell them right away, take your money out and put them into something fundamental. I do think they're trying to follow something from the previous cycle because they're probably not experts in meme coins as well. Imagine how many people were actually buying into Dogecoin, into Shiba Inu as well, and they were selling after 10x only after to see their token and their portfolio if they would not have sold do a 100x right after they sold what you want to do when you're buying into meme coin you want to understand if the meme coin is a blue chip what type of community is actually supporting the meme coin what type of meta meme coin actually has actions that are not exercised by the majority of the market are being benefited at the most they do provide result who would be buying picture of the bear in the bear market and holding it for six months the only issue i had is that i did not dca in the picture of the bear when it went down to 1.1 million market cap that's the only issue that i basically have if you are listening to this video please just remember this one thing holding blue chip meme coins is the only best thing that you can do hold them and buy more on the dips as well if these are blue chip meme coins if you were able to entry if you believe into them if you like the community if you like what is happening with the meme coin as well this is going to be a super cycle of meme coins meme coins will outperform each and every token in this cycle as well and in order to actually outperform, you would have to hold. You would have to not to sell. I took my initials out of Boba after 17 access. One, seven. I'm holding. And I will keep holding moving forward as well. Because in order to get a 100x, you actually need to hold. This is very, very counterintuitive. This is very, very risky. If you're buying into some crap, into some rocks, into some random meme coins with random devs, there is a high chance that if you would be holding your meme coins, especially on Solana, it will probably just go to zero. You need to understand blue chip meme coins. You need to understand people behind meme coins. You need to understand the community. And there is still the chance that any meme coin can just go to zero. But holding meme coins is what actually being rewarded the most. And now we're coming to the final part of this video where I basically created a list of meme coins and I will just rank them. 5 to 10x, 10 to 25x, 25 to 50x, 50 to 100x and 100x plus. The first thing we have Dogecoin. We definitely see retail coming back into the market just because of the fact Dogecoin is surging up again. From these lows from the end of February, we basically had done 2.5x already, which is very, very nice. And it's surging up today as well, because retail remember Dogecoin from previous cycle and they're buying into it as well. I do believe we will have the super cycle. At the same time, I do believe that a lot of liquidity will eventually go into new meme coins as well. But Dogecoin is very, very strong with Elon Musk, with all the support, I would put it at 5 to 10x from these levels. Shiba Inu, uh, something I don't believe much in. I saw that there are some developments. It's already 21 billion market cap. And it basically just searched from the end of February. It did 3.6x's. Very, very nice as well. I would put it at 5 to 10x after Dogecoin. Just because of the fact I don't believe much into Shiba Inu. I do believe that there are greater peaks of this cycle as well. But still... In terms of the 5x, if I could, I would just probably put it at like 3x because I don't believe we would be seeing 60 billion market cap on Shiba in on Shiba in this cycle. Maybe 40 to 50 billion, but that's that's probably max from my point of view, of course. Then we have something like Floki, and Floki just recently surged like crazy as well. It's also the meme coin of the previous cycle, and we are very, very close to the all-time high for this token as well, which is definitely very, very interesting. So I would put it at 5x, but probably after Dodge, just because of the fact it's also the token of the previous cycle. We do also have something like Boden, which is Solana meme coin at 40 million market cap. 
It definitely in the current matter because it's about politics, right? And we kind of have Trump and we have counterpart Boden. And Boden, very funny meme coin. I'm, I'm just laughing always. I think it should be an easy 10 to 25x if developers will not decide to rug this thing because these are Solana devs. Anything might be happening with Solana devs because essentially chain called Soilana, what good can just come from the chain that is called Soilana? Just, just tell me. Maga Trump, a very, very interesting meme coin that is basically surging from January of this year that done crazy multipliers. I believe it's 20, 23, 25 X's at this stage, which is very, very crazy. It's only 400 million market cap at this stage. And we definitely would have a lot of time to the election as well. I do believe we should be actually seeing that at, at least 10 billion market cap. 10 billion market cap would be putting us somewhere at 10 to 15 axis, right? Um, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not, I don't even know where I should be putting this thing just because of the fact uh, of Boden having so low market cap. I would probably just want to put Maga Trump before Boden as well. But I think in comparison to Boden, Maga Trump is a very, very safe pick. It's definitely going to do very, very well. And even after me saying that, I do actually want to put some money into Maga Trump as well, just because of the fact that it definitely will be surging up closer to the election as well. We do also have one other election meme token that I actually like a lot, which is basically named Monk. Monk has similar market cap to Maga Trump, 400 million. I believe it also ate a zero recently, just surging up. We saw this correction and then it just went up right after that. I don't even know, should I be putting it before Trump or after Trump? Probably before Trump, because I believe that Mog should be a bit more crypto native because Maga Trump is a bit too serious for crypto, but then just my point of view. Next thing is Bonk. And I know that this opinion might not be liked by a lot of people, but I'm quite bearish on Bonk, despite the fact that actually done very, very nice. 3x recently from the end of February. I just don't think that the current market makers on Bonk would be able to push this token. I don't think that they plan to push this token larger. I do think that they might have limited view in terms of where the meme coins can actually go and things like that. But they're just my feedback, my point of view. I would probably just be putting Bonk at 5 to 10x, but at the last and least of the whole thing. That's just my opinion from my end. Dog with hat. So I don't know much about market makers. I don't know much about the team there. I just know that recently basically had done seven X's from the end of February, which is very, very nice. I do believe that we might be seeing a major competition between Pepe and Reef, but I don't like Soilana much as well. So it's very, I, I, I do think that Ethereum whales, they would just crush so Soilana whales. They would just do it because they can. They would just throw a bunch of money into Pepe just to make sure that Pepe will be top one meme coin and Reef won't be right? So I can see 15, 20, 25 billion for dog we've had. That would put us at somewhere around 10x, but I would probably want to put it as the first one because I think it's actually the safest pick, safest 10x on the market. The, the main risk obviously is that if we're not getting this large bull cycle and something bad is going to happen, but if we are getting this bull cycle and things like that, then we've should definitely be doing 10x. Next thing is Pepe. Meme that I like the most, that basically all my meme contract strategy is built around. Pepe basically had done eight X's recently from the end of February, and I called it several hours before the pump publicly on my YouTube channel. I told you that you could have longed this token and I actually done it myself as well, and I'm doing very, very well with Pepe currently. Well, I might be biased here. I do think Pep is going to 100 billion market cap. I do think it's going to flip ship this cycle as well. Maybe Dogecoin too. 25 X is from here. All right, I would just put it here just because the market cap is so, so large at this stage already. But well, 100 billion is optimistic and um, kind of conservative should be from 25 to 50 billion. Conservative should be from 25 to 50 billion. Next thing we have Boba which is basically something very, very similar to Pepe. It's basically a beta play on Pepe that I started to talk 
from 1 million market cap. About in my first video on this channel, I'm saying already that Bobo is going to be highest performing token of my portfolio as well. Currently, we are at 46 million market cap. I do think it actually has to catch up to Pep as well. I don't understand why we still have this type of gap because Bobo is only 50 million and Pepe is 4 billion already. I do think that once you would be seeing a larger correction on Pepe, people would start to put the money into Bobo as well because this pump happened after two months after Pepe basically pumped. And teams, devs, people around this token, supporters, they're very, very similar to people that are supporting Pepe as well. Let's say Pepe would be from 25 billion to 50 billion conservative, then I think we should be seeing Bobo from 1 billion to 5 billion. We can take the average, which is 2.5 billion, 2.5 billion and 50 million. I believe it's 50 access, right? So I would want to put Bobo here from 25 to 50 X. Snibu is the lower cap token, which is connected to Bobo. So it's kind of Bobo beta play and Bobo itself is Pepe beta play, right? We see that Snibu is 3.3 million. It also moves quite similar to Bobo maybe with a certain delay. In terms of Snibu, it's definitely risky. It's quite digging as well. I just like the meme and I'm invested from a long, long time myself as well. I would put it 25 to 50 eggs, but before Boba, just because of the fact the market cap is pretty much 18 times lower as well. So this thing should be doing well. Wojak is an older meme that is also connected to Pepe memeverse as well. Let's actually check out the market cap of this thing because Wojak is something almost from last cycle and, and it's very very interesting what it was doing recently. So it basically searched only 3x. So it's quite dead because Boba searched 20x here and Wojak only did 3x, right? So I would just put it 5 to 10x, but before Dogecoin because market cap is quite low. It's meme on the, of the older cycle. Some liquidity from Pepper should come into Wojak, but Wojak still is something, yeah, it's something questionable. Oh, yeah, it's actually not from the older cycle. It's actually around Pepper time as well. Well, didn't move much recently. Therefore, I'm not so confident. Rido is something I like, something I hold as well. Basically, main meme coin on Telegram. Right now, it should be around, I was buying 3 million. It should be around 15 million market cap, 15 to 20 million market cap. With not coin and um, ton coin, Telegram market cap surging up as well. 25 to 50x uh, before Snibu, after Snibu, probably after Snibu, just because of the fact Snibu market cap is very, very low, but Snibu is very, very digging. Keep that in mind. Welsh. Welsh is the main meme coin on Stacks ecosystem. I'm very, very bullish on Stacks in this cycle. I think this market cap is wrong. I think current market cap is closer to 100, 120 million dollars, which is very, very large. If you would actually check out the, if you would actually check out the correlation of the market cap of the main token in the ecosystem and meme coin, it's just so, so crazy because, because stacks pretty much only have 4 billion market cap and Welsh is a 100 million market cap. We don't have anything like this happen. Like these people are just believers. They're just crazy. So 100 million market cap, Welsh 100 million market cap, stacks should be doing at least 10x from there. I would just put it between Mock and Trump, but I think it's going to do very, very well. Land Wolf on Avex right now at around 18 million market cap, false current meta because it's original character from Pepe Artist as well. Uh, was it larger market cap too? Is moving currently in anticipation of Avex pump, which is great, which shows that it's not dead. Market cap is quite low at this stage, probably at the end of 20, mm, 25 to 50 team. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure because Avex is not the chain with a bunch of liquidity on it as well. We will definitely be seeing the rotations. I'm not sure. Uh, it, it, it's, it's very low market cap, but I definitely have less conviction in this thing. So I will just put it here. Then we have Andy on Blast. I get scammed on Blast for $11,000. So I'm not sure how to actually use the chain and I will probably stay away from the chain as well. But if you would be able to buy into a proper ND token on Blast, proper ND token on Blast, you will not be getting scammed. You will be able to withdraw your funds as well, right? And if it's going to be something similar to Brett, if it's going to be like a main meme on the chain, it should be doing well. And I believe market cap for this thing is quite low as well. So 
that's kind of all or nothing play. I would just put it at the end of 25 to 50x because market cap is very, very low at this stage, but it's definitely all or nothing play at this stage. Bread on base chain right now, it has 200 million market cap. And it's basically one of the main memes along with Toshi and others on base chain as well. Base chain should be doing very, very well because Coinbase is the main custodial for all the ETFs and the company just should be doing very, very well if we would be seeing this larger bull market as well. Kind of hard, 25 to 50 axis. I would put it somewhere between Bobo and Andy. And you have to understand that Bobo has 50 million market cap and Brett has 200 million, but liquidity on Bobo is larger than liquidity on bread. Therefore, it would be easier for bread to reach the same market cap, like larger market cap, but it's also easier to dump bread because the whole liquidity on bread currently, I think, is like 1.4 million, 1.5, so it's very, very low as well. This is it. This is my list of meme coins. Up to you to check out, up to your research. These are definitely not all of the meme coins. We have Miro, we have Toshi, we have meme coins on Pulse Chain. We have some other meme coins on different chains as well. So this is just the list from my end. And the main thing is just understand the process. Understand how you pick the meme coins. Understand how to participate in the meme coins. I believe it's the best opportunity to actually make millions. This bull market. Especially from low amount of capital as well. And now guys, let's gamble. We have some new members. Currently, we already do have, yeah, I'm sorry, these are the winners from yesterday. We have 114 members who are eligible. One more time, to be eligible for giveaways, you have to be my referral on BitGet, you have to deposit at least 100 bucks, and you have to have KYC completed as well. On top of that, if you have all these things completed, you're automatically being added into VIP on Discord, where I'm sharing signals, where I'm sharing my thoughts on the market, what I do, and where a lot of alpha discussion is happening. We, we already had several calls from members inside our Discord, and I was sharing some things that actually had done quite well. I was sharing Landwolf at 8 million market cap. It already had done a 2x at least, and I believe it will be doing very, very well moving forward as well. And if you will have all these requirements completed, being my referral on BitGet, have KYC completed and have at least 100 bucks deposited, you will also be eligible for the snapshot of the airdrop that will happen on Sunday, end of day, New York time. That's it. Let's kick off our gambling machine, right? So from 1 to 114, let me quickly recheck that, right? That's correct. Generate. Wow, 114. Very, very nice. Let's make sure that we will not forget you. Generate. 100. Beautiful number. 10 squared as well. Beautiful. Very, very interesting numbers. The last one and 100. Very interesting. Generate. 112. Each and every winner is actually more than 100 or equal to 100. Very, very nice. Guys, uh, with these UIDs, uh, you will get 100 bucks from me today or tomorrow morning. And one thing we do also have is that we actually created a channel for winners on Discord. So feel free to share if you receive the funds. Feel free to share some feedback. Just, just some things. Where do you plan to spend 100 bucks? Do you plan to loan... I don't know, Pepper with 50x leverage or things like that. But it's, it's not a financial advice and that's not something that I would basically want you to do as well. That's pretty much it about this video. I definitely do believe that meme coins are going to be the best performing thing this cycle. And it's very, very interesting because from one point of view, we have retail. And some of the retail, they made a bunch of money in the last cycle. Other retail, new one, it's very, very easy for them to understand picture of frogs, picture of dogs and actually buy into them. At the same time, they will not be figuring out modular parallelized blockchains, AK Sings, Layer 1, Layer 2s, Bitcoin, DeFi, risk taking, liquid staking, all these things. It's zero interest. They want to buy a picture of the dog. They want a picture of the dog to go up. They want to tell their friend. They want their friend to make money as well. And they want to just move forward as a cult. At the same time, we also have players from previous crypto cycles that saw at least a couple of times most of the tokens 
actually going to zero. That clearly see and clearly understand that the whole thing, that most of the projects are actually vaporware. It's very, very interesting because following this logic, they can also just be buying meme coins. They might also not want to be entering this utility projects with VCs money because they do understand that VCs will eventually dump on them because they were dumping on them already in the previous cycle. And one more interesting thing I actually want to show you to finalize my thesis here. On CoinMarketCap, you actually have a function, cryptocurrency historical data snapshot. You actually have the option to see what were the tokens at the top in the previous cycle. Let's actually check out 2018, 11th of February, closer to the end of this cycle, probably a couple months after that. What do we actually see here? Stellar, NEO, EOS, NAM, IOTA, Dash, Monero, Lisk, Tron, none of these tokens are at the top currently. You have to understand these things. It's very, very important. See this space for what it really is. There is no five to 10 years planning in crypto. You want to buy, you want to make money in a year from now, you want to be out from most of your positions. And last point, last but not least, institutions are also trading meme coins this cycle. 30% of volumes on meme coins is coming from institutions. They're trading meme coins through the software and through the software departments and agents provided by, provided by market makers and companies similar to market makers as well. We have three very, very strong theses. Retail buying into meme coins, players from the previous cycles understanding that everything is a vaporware and buying meme coins, and institutions trading meme coins as well. These are very, very great catalysts for meme coins actually to search and to go up. And we are still very, we're still so, so early. Meme coins of new cycle, they didn't show nothing. They didn't show nothing yet. Even with, with 2 billion market cap, it's so, so low at this stage. The only thing that it showed you, it actually showed you the winners. So you can seize the opportunity properly. Very important. Yes, it's risky. Yes, they will be correcting. They will be correcting hardly. But I do believe this is one of the narrative that is going to be the best performing one that a lot of people are still neglecting. A lot of people, they're still in the market thinking that all like these st stupid low IQ people just buying meme coins, you have to lower your IQ. They will all do you. Do you actually understand how salty they are? Because they're sitting in their foundational stuff in private pre-sales, in early sales, and no one is want and no one is buying that crap because they understand that it's a bunch of vaporware waiting to actually get dumped on. Very interesting and very important situation. The only thing I know in the market is you have to be flexible. You have to change fast to the conditions of the market. You cannot just push in one thing if the thesis invalidates. Not with all of your funds, but at least with some. Very, very interesting. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Well.